Hey, welcome back to Long Island Local, the local music talk show where we talk about all the unsigned artists around in your neighborhood. On today's show, we have special guest, Prophet, here to check out and talk about his new EP. So stick around, check out uh, all this great music here locally, and you know, check out work from our sponsors. Check us out when we come back. <laughs> Here, I got special guests. Some of you may know him as Sean, but on today's show, you can call him Prophet. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming on the show. No doubt. All right, so you just released your brand new CD, Torn Between Two. So tell me, what went into this? How's it feel? You know, just give me a nice overview of it. It feels good, man. It's been a long time coming for me. Um, I mean, you've known me since yeah. high school, so you know a lot of the work that went into this. So. Um, it's been like five years now that I've been rapping, and um, it feels really good to have a CD out there, you know, so. Dude, that's awesome. So when did you first start rapping? Like, did it come to you one day, or just like, maybe I'll try this as a hobby? Like, what happened with that? Um, I've been into music, I mean, since I was a little kid. My mom is very musically inclined. Um, she got me into a lot of like classic rock stuff, but uh, hip hop was mostly for my brother, and he executive produced and produced the majority of this album, Lab Rat. So um, that was cool. I started around 15. I started doing it on my own. Originally, I wasn't working with my brother, um, but then I started to progress a little bit, and um, eventually, over the last year or so, we just decided to start doing it together. So. Um, but yeah, I started around 15, so um, almost six years ago now. Dude, that's awesome. Now, when did you start? Did you ever have an idea that this will happen? Like you have your own CD out, or that you'll have so many people giving you such good you know, you know, ideas of it and how much they liked it? Like, Did you ever think this was going to happen? To be honest, probably not. Um, it was really more of a hobby originally. Me and my friends, uh, especially my friends Chris and Rich, they're on the record on track called Nightcrawlers, but we started out as a group high street and as you know yeah, probably, I remember that. Um, but it was really more of a hobby for us something to do you know we all loved music but then eventually we just got really serious about it you know and um, we ended up doing our own solo things and that's when I got real serious um, with the music and with writing I started writing every day and started really studying all types of music and trying to um, enhance my musical talent, so. Dude, that's awesome. Now, back to High Street. Is there any, like, hard feelings for you guys doing all the solo stuff, or is it just like you guys are still High Street just doing solo stuff, helping each other out? Like, how does that work? That's probably a question maybe a lot of people have. Not at all. Um, with the solo stuff, we 100% backing on all of our stuff there you know Chris is doing his own thing um, Rich is doing his thing and like as far as promotion they're behind me a hundred percent you know promoting me and I promote them so there's no hard feelings there we're still a crew you know we're still high streets the group is still there for anybody who thinks maybe we broke up or you know um, I think eventually we'll probably do another mixtape together but right now we're working solo so that's awesome now uh tell me what's your favorite track on this album i know it's probably really hard that's probably the hardest question i'll probably ask you tonight but like what's your favorite track or your favorite tracks and what went into making them that makes them so special to you um i would probably this is a lot i mean yeah. the whole album is very special to me because you know as an artist you know you you hold very dear to your heart the songs that you write and um but probably there's probably two records that um 
are my favorites. One is Out There, and the other one is um, Roses. And both of those records are very different for me. Out There, I went real personal. I talked about a lot of stuff that I went through, depression, and I actually sing on the hook, which was something that, you know, took a little time for me because I've never really sang on a record before. But um, I figured, what the hell, you know what I mean? Um, and as far as Roses, um, that's another record that is very different. It's not even really hip-hop. I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's hip-hop, but it's kind of got like a rock influence with the acoustic guitar. And um, what I'm saying on that song, you know, about living every day and um, not to take the good with the bad, I feel like I hope has touched people's lives. You know, it touched my own and made me think differently about every day. So. Now, I'm glad you brought up Roses because that is personally one of my favorite tracks. So I remember I was going through it when I was editing my iTunes and I heard the guitar. I was like, what? And I checked Thank it you. out. And that was a very touching song, you know. What went into writing that? Like, when did you get the inspiration to use the guitar? Because I feel like the guitar really helped bring the song out, other than a hip-hop beat. What, like, what made you, what came first? Like, the idea to do a song on an acoustic or the hip-hop, you know, did, or did you write the song, and then you came up with the beat for it? Like, what came first with that? And how did it come out? Um, the song idea started actually in English class, funny enough, in college. I came up with this idea of Roses on a Battlefield. Originally I was going to call my album, which before it was even an album, I, I thought that's a crazy title. Like, and that means a lot to me, like, look for the roses that grow on the battlefield, which is life. and. I thought this has to be one of the later songs. If I'm going to do an album, I want it to kind of cap off the album, like talk about everything that I'm about. So um, Lab Rat made the beat, and I had it for a little while, and eventually I, I, I was just inspired one day, and I came home from, from class, spent the whole day, wrote all three verses, um, wrote the hook, and that song actually, it took a long time for us to get it right. It took a couple mixes, but um, I'm really proud of that song, and I think, um, and I hope other people are feeling it. So, I know I definitely am. Now, another song, the first single you released on this was Forest Flies. Right. And that song is really personal. A lot of stuff seems to be going into that. You want to just tell us about Forest Flies a little bit? What goes into it? What it means to you? And just the craziness behind it all? That was um, that was one of the earlier songs we released it on Halloween. That was really before the album was even really. Um, that was probably the second or third song we did. Um, that was just me, kind of venting my frustration and anger with the world and the music industry through that record, and it was kind of me wanting to switch things up a little bit. You know, I. My early stuff is a lot of battle-type punchline raps, and um, I love that style, but I, I kind of wanted to get into telling stories. Um, so on that record, like you hear on the hook, I feel like I've lost my mind to the greed. It's kind of like my own struggle with n wanting to make money but not wanting to sell out, or also just being pissed off at you know, the corporations and the government, you know, you could take that record as if me talking about the music industry, or you could take that record as me talking about my struggles with the world in general, you know, so. It's really sick that you can have a different twist on it either way, and it's each way it makes the song look great. Now, on the album, you have a lot of features on it. You know, you want to just explain that, who's on the album, what means you have them on the album, what they bring to the album. So I know Through It All has a feature on it. So you want to just talk about that? Um, I like to keep pretty much my features um, in-house. Um, I feel like even anything that I do rapping-wise, I have to really like an artist, you know, to, to work with them. And there's a lot of artists I would love to work with out there. But on this particular album, I really wanted to keep my first album real in-house, like my crew. And uh, on Nightcrawler, 
there's we have High Street on there. Um, they're a familiar face to anyone who's been involved with me over the last several years. And um, that record I felt like was going to be the most club or commercial. So I wanted to put them on there because I felt like if I'm going to come out, you know, to the public eye, you know, say it blows up, like I want my crew there with me, and they killed the record. As soon as I heard the beat, I was like, we got to do this so we could perform at the shows, you know. So, um, and through it all, that's another great record. Um, I got the beat from Lab Rat, and Chance and Naki, who I've been working with um, on Heart and Soul, they're from Brooklyn. Um, I met them, actually, I met Chance on my birthday. Um, almost two years ago now. Um, I met him in the city, kind of like a crazy thing. I met him and he was selling his, his uh, CD in Times Square. And uh, eventually we ended up doing a song together, Heart and Soul. And I've just clicked with those guys ever since, you know. Um, they're very talented, very hungry artists. So um, that that's a great record because it says a lot about us as people, you know, so. That's great. Now, you said performing shows. Do you perform shows? You know, what's the future of shows? What songs do you like to perform at shows? Do you do, like, what's it, what, like, what's it like to play a show and have just the, the reaction of crowd? Like, what's it like? Shows are great, man. It's kind of like what you do it for as an artist is to kind of um, interact with your fans. So, um, I've done, I did B.B. King's recently, I did Mulcahy's, um, I have the Knitting Factory on the 27th um, with Too Short, I'm opening for Too Short, so that should be fun. Shows are, I mean, it, no matter how big the show, no matter how many people are there, um, being on stage performing in front of other people that are giving you that chance to show your art is a blessing. and. It's a crazy feeling being out there. It's hard to explain. A lot of people have asked me that. Like, it, it's all, it's like a high. It's a high that you can't get from drugs. You can't get from alcohol. You know, it's it's a, it's a feeling that is like a, a you you know you you just let it all loose. So that's sick. Now, let's wrap this up a little bit. So now, tell me about the future of profit. You know what? What do you have in the future? I know you it just dropped, but I'm sure you got your eyes set on the future. So, what tells us, you know, the fans, what you have planned for the future? What you have coming? You know, it's, what are you looking for? Well, um, obviously, we're thinking big things. You know, um, I really want to keep it in house. Me and Lab Rat are always talking um, in the studio, talking about the future. You know, we're always thinking ahead. Um, presently, I want to do some videos, which I think you'll be able to help help out with. Um, I I'd, I'd love for more people to be able to hear my music through music videos and stuff like that. But um, we're just gonna keep working, man. Um, we put a lot of work into this, and so far it's just been progress. So um, I'm very proud of what we've done, and I think in the future um, things can only get better. So. Great. All right, like, thank you for coming on the show, man. Thanks a lot. Great having you. Everybody, go check out his debut album, Tour Between Two. You can actually download it for free. I'll put the link in the description. But definitely check it out. You will not waste your time. I promise you that. You can come to my house and knock down my door if you don't like it. I really don't. I, would, I, would. I like my door. But I guarantee you'll like this album. Definitely check it out. So, Prof, one more time, I'd like to thank you Thanks very much lot, for coming man. on the show. Thanks for having me. Check out his album. And check out next time on Long Island Local. Check out more Long Island artists. Keep it real. From Ant Productions.